This is the Stinky Atom game. In this game, your students will practice locating the atomic number for various elements that you call out, as well as practice the idea of the location of protons and electrons in atoms. To set up this game, you'll need a clear playing space. You'll also need uh, the capability of creating two circles towards one end of the play area. Now these, play, these circles can be made of a rope or a garden hose or a hula hoop. They need to be relatively large because in the center of each circle, circle is where your students will place protons and then on the periphery of each circle is where your students will place electrons. Your students will be, need to be divided into at least two teams and they'll line up on one end of the playing area. The stinky part of the game comes in when each student has to remove his or her shoes. So we'll, we've got shoes here, and so these guys will take off their shoes, and this guy over here will take off his, and you'll take all the shoes and put them down near the two circles you've created on the other end of the playing area. The way the game works is, is that you teacher here will be stationed at one end of the playing area and you'll call out the name of one element. Members on each team then will find that element on their periodic tables and but one at a time in relay fashion they'll dash down to the pair of shoes pick up a shoe which will re represent first of all protons and they'll place one shoe or one proton at a time in the center of their atom. Then they'll dash back to their team and tag their team member, go to the end of the line, the next team member will come forward and pick up another electron and place it in the center center of the circle representing the second proton. They'll continue until each team has built an atom representing the element that you've called. For example, if you should call out the element carbon, your students will find carbon on their periodic table and realize that its atomic number is six and therefore they'll need six protons and six electrons. We won't use neutrons in this game. So one by one they'll come down and uh, get six protons placed inside the circle and then one by one they'll continue on until they get six six electrons on the outside of the circle. Eventually the t your teams will complete the task. The team that finish, finishes first earns a point for their team if the model is correctly built. If they don't have it correctly built, the team which uh, has theirs built in second place, if theirs is correct, they earn the point for the round. And then all the shoes are returned to the center pile and uh, play then continues with the next round. So uh, this is the Stinky Atom game. It's played in relay fashion. Um, you f you'll find that the number or the, the element you call is limited by the number of shoes you have. Uh, so if you anticipate uh, or if you know that you don't have very many students in your group, you may want to bring extra shoes from home or have them bring an extra pair of shoes to enable you to have plenty of uh, protons and electrons here uh, in which to play with.